So today we're going to talk about everything markers in DaVinci Resolve and I'm going to share some really cool pro tips that you can use to improve your workflow in DaVinci Resolve and how to save tons of time when you work on a project. So if this is your first time visiting this channel, welcome. My name is Duan, it's do unto others what you want to do unto yourself. And on this channel, we talk all about DaVinci Resolve and video production. Now let's start off with this very important question. Why would you want to use markers in your project? It's simple. You want to use markers on your timeline to mark points on your timeline or to mark points on a specific clip. You want to use markers to indicate maybe a start point of multiple clips that you want to sync up later and use it as a multi clip. Or you might want to create comments for yourself or for an editor later to make some changes in a certain section. And then you can also drag out the markers to indicate sections on your timeline or to maybe indicate a part that you need to work on a little bit later. And lastly, you can actually draw onto the video to indicate to yourself or to another editor something that you need to change, take out or remove in your DaVinci Resolve project. So with that in mind, let's dive in. So there are three different ways to add markers to your timeline and you can add it either to your clip, to your actual timeline or to a clip in your media pool. And the way to do that is to first of all, select the clip that you want to add a marker to. You can either click the marker button in your toolbar or you can simply press M to add a marker. If you want to add a marker to your timeline, you have to make sure that all your clips are deselected. When you do that, you can press M and you'll see a marker appear on your timeline. Or you can always press the marker button on your uh, toolbar. And secondly, if you want to add a marker to a clip in your timeline that maybe indicates a starting point, you can do that by dragging it to your preferred point and then press M and that will add a marker to your clip. So if you then drag it onto your timeline, you'll see that it appears on your clip and you know that is the starting point and you can simply trim it to that part. So let's talk about how you would use these markers practically. So here I've got a two camera shoot of an interview that I did and I want to cut this up as a multi clip. And the way to do that is you can either sync it using the waveform or DaVinci Resolve's auto sync function or to align clips. But if that doesn't work, then you can always go and listen to the audio, establish the starting point of one clip, go to the other point, find that starting point, mark, add a marker there and then you can simply drag it so that those markers snap to one another. Then you can fine tune it by looking at the waveform, making sure everything is nice and sync and then you can go ahead and create your multi clip. And here's another pro tip, instead of having multiple markers on your timeline and not knowing which is what, you can color code these markers and I like to use different colors for different things. So if I'm using sound effects, if I want to create a comment about sound effects, I always make it red. That way, whenever I see a red marker on my timeline, I know that is for sound effects specific. If I want to create maybe some effects, I always make it green. That way, when I look at my timeline and I see the different colors, it's easy for me to see where I need to do what. And on top of that, if there's maybe a certain section that you want to mark on your project, you can simply select your marker and alt drag that out and that will add a red marker to that whole section and then if you want to add chapters in your project, you can do so by alt dragging or you can just press M twice to open up this box. And when this box is open, you can change the duration of this marker in this box over here. And then for my last step, if you want to create pictures or arrows on the actual picture to indicate something either to yourself or another editor, simply go and activate the annotations uh, option under the transform window. And you'll see when you select that, there's some options that appear 
above your program window. Here, when you select that, you can draw onto the picture. So if I want to maybe make a comment about this logo here, maybe take that out. I can either write it with my pen or I can actually just double click the marker and write a note. Take out. On top of that, if I want to add an arrow, I can also just drag to the point that I want to point out. So there's an actual arrow, arrow and you can always change the colors of that as well. So fortunately, you won't see that right through um, your project, but when you hit that marker, you'll see that picture. Or if you want to drag that out, you can do that. And for that whole, uh, section you'll see the markers that you've added into your project now this is very helpful especially if you're reviewing your project or if you are making notes for another editor so i hope that you found this video helpful i'll see you in the next one cheers